What's up guys, welcome to your Wednesday warm up. It's got an AMRAP by six minutes, a little bit longer today. 30 seconds of a cardio choice, we'll show our cardio options. 10 dumbbell deadlifts, 10 lunges, and five push-ups. Pretty simple today. So, cardio choices, we have jumping jacks. We have high knees. We can hop onto the ground and go into our mountain climber position here, to our knees to elbow as quick as we can. And then we could also run outside for 30 seconds we could do some up-downs or we could do some burpees, all right? Or jump rope if you like to. 10 dumbbell deadlifts. I'm gonna grab our deadlift from a vertical position on one side of its head. Make sure we drive those hips back, let that torso fall forward when we're deadlifts. We never want that chest to be completely upright. We're gonna have a good hinge here. It's a hip hinge dominant movement, driving those hips back, letting that torso fall forward, keeping a nice long spine with our shoulders peeled back, all right? Make sure they stay packed down and back. Then, after our 10 dumbbell deadlifts, we have 10 lunges. You can do these body weight or weighted. Feel free to do either. But we're going to go either reverse or forward, your preference there. I always prefer a reverse lunge over forward, just because I think it uh, typically people with knee pain uh, find forward lunges a little bit harder to do, and reverse lunges take that pain away from that knee. So if you do have knee pain, you might want to favor those reverse lunges a little bit, work on those hamstrings and glute strength a little bit more. Then we have five push-ups to finish off here. Try and do these five push-ups as strict as possible. Good, slow, controlled movement. Make sure we warm that chest and shoulder area up, all right? We can do modified if we need to. Drop to your knees or hop onto an incline for our push-up. So you do a push-up on the side of a table or a ledge. That'll take some of that weight off of your shoulder. Make it a little bit easier to get a full range of motion. Four, our Wednesday workout. Four time, all right? You got a 26-minute time cap here. First, we're starting off with two and a half minutes of a cardio choice, all right? You can mix and match these cardio choices however you feel. You could run, you could, if you have a rower, you could row. You can also do one of our four cardio options or jump rope. Then we have 50 dumbbell ground to overheads, 50 walking lunges, all right? This is with no weight, but if you feel like a challenge, grab a dumbbell, toss it on the back, and go ahead, do some weighted walking lunges. A one minute cardio choice, so we shorten up that time a little bit, 50 push-ups, all right? One minute of cardio choice again, 50 dumbbell ground to overheads, 50 walking lunges, and two minutes and 30 seconds of a cardio choice. All right, so as you can see, the workout changed a little bit in the middle, but it starts to make its way, make its way back to what we started with in the beginning. So our cardio choices show you those at the beginning in the warm up. then we have our 50 dumbbell ground to overheads. So a horizontal dumbbell, holding on each side of its head. We're pushing those hips back. Once that dumbbell reaches about mid shin, we explode through the hips. A lot of the posterior muscles, hamstring, glutes, and that low back are trying to fire and drive those hips forward and exploding through that dumbbell, making sure it travels straight up our body all the way overhead. Notice how when she reaches the top, she's not pressing it, but she's letting that momentum created from her hip extension travel all the way up her body and she's pressing straight up overhead, not out in front of her head, but straight up overhead. Then we have 50 walking lunges here. So we will show a few walking lunges. Tapping that knee to the ground. Notice how her legs are at 90 and 90. She's not short changing that rep or stepping too far out in front where she's losing balance, all right? Both legs are at 90 degrees and her torso has a slight forward lean in it. But make sure when you do these walking lunges, when we step down, we drive straight down with a lunge and stand straight back up. Drive straight down with a lunge and stand straight back up. A lot of people like to lean forward and too far forward, honestly, that you'll be driving through your toe and not your whole foot on these lunges. So after our walking lunges, we have another cardio choice into 50 push-ups. We showed you our push-ups at the beginning. Uh, we can show a few modified real quick, just on top of our knees, making sure those elbows are about at a 45 degree angle, driving back and behind us versus out to the side on our shoulder plane. So keep those a little bit closer to the ribs versus out at the shoulder area, all right? The happy medium 45 degree angle. Then the workout just repeats itself. It makes its way back into it. You got a one minute cardio choice, 50 dumbbell ground to overheads, 50 walking lunges, and two and a half minutes of a cardio choice. All right, Creed, got 26 minutes for it. Get after it.